TRT family, it's Justin again, and today I'm talking about NAD, which is also known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, which is, it is considered to be one of the major anti-aging molecules in the body. In fact, it's considered to be the second most abundant molecule in the body, besides water. And it's also involved in over 500 cellular and enzymatic processes as well. So without further ado, let's talk about NAD. What processes are NAD involved in? Well, to answer your question, there's quite a lot of them. It's involved in endothelial function, cellular respiration, anaerobic, aerobic respiration, DNA repair, uh, neurological tissue repair, you name it. So pretty much, if there is a process in the body that can take place, then NAD is most likely involved in it. With aging, there is a steady decline in your body's NAD stores, and these declines have been associated with things associated with uh, increased or expedited aging, hearing loss, vision loss, weakened immune system, increased inflammatory responses, et cetera, et cetera, you name it. But the big reason why people take NAD besides anti-aging benefits is for a steady source of energy and overall improved well-being. So let's talk about the organic chemistry side of how NAD works. Okay, so NAD essentially works as a vehicle for transporting electrons and protons. Now, NAD will steal electrons and protons from hydrogen sources, such as glucose, for example. It, then, it would then take these electrons and protons and move it into the mitochondria of cells. Now, you've probably heard the hackneyed phrase before that the mitochondria is the quote-unquote powerhouse of the cell. You've heard it before because it's true. So, NAD is essentially a vehicle giving the powerhouse of the cell what it needs to generate more power. So after NAD has transported the electrons and protons into the mitochondria, the electrons travel down the electron transport chain, and ultimately the end result is the increased production of ATP. Long story short, NAD increases cellular production of ATP, which ultimately provides your body with more energy. I mean, you could simply say NAD makes more energy, or gives you more energy, but it seems a bit shallow just to say NAD equals more energy when, in fact, as I mentioned, Earlier, it's involved in over 500 cellular processes throughout the body. The real question is, why would somebody want to incorporate NAD into their anti-aging program? Well, just like other biological processes, our levels of endogenous NAD declines as we get older. The highest level of NAD in people is typically when they're children, when they're babies. But by the time they hit the age of 50, over 50% 50 of their levels have declined. And this decline occurs very steadily and it's age-related. Now, it's speculated that a lot of this decline happens because of the inability of the body to recycle and produce more NAD, but at the same time, our metabolic and enzymatic processes become less energy efficient. So, in other words, the rate of, re rate of recycling and production uh, cannot keep up with the rate of expenditure. Other applications of NAD um, include helping with opiate and addiction medicine, and this actually dates back to the 1960s when it was used to help people mitigate the withdrawal effects of opiates. It's also been used with amphetamines as well. Um, now let's talk about administration. So it can be administered via sub-Q injection, intramuscular injection, IV infusion, which IV infusion typically takes a few hours as to not experience some shortness of breath, some discomfort like that. There's also a transdermal ionophoresis patch that tailor-made compounding produces. And lastly, there's another one. There is the nasal spray delivery form. TRT fam, hope you enjoyed this brief primer on NAD. If you want to know more, give us a shout. Thanks.